Hello, I want to talk to you today about root cause medicine and how genetics is affecting our viewpoint on getting to the root cause of your health problem. I'm one of the clinic directors at Root Cause Medical Clinic, many of you know me, and um, as you know, we work with root cause, meaning getting to the reason why someone's having a health problem. For instance, a symptom someone has is not the reason that they're sick. In other words, the symptom is not the problem that they have. The symptom is the result of the problem. So what we try to get after here at Root Cause Medical Clinic is get to the reason why your body has begun to malfunction. The only way you get a symptom is if something in the body is malfunctioning. The body does not malfunction by its own. There are stressors, there are demands put on the body that basically push the body into the point that it can no longer malfunction, or I should say no longer function properly, and it begins to malfunction, right? So uh, our goal from the very beginning to help people has been to isolate what it is that causes someone to begin to deteriorate in their health. And uh, as I've investigated and studied over the uh, last number of years, uh, the genetics of an individual has a huge impact on how healthy you're going to be. Now, genetics. Most of us in, uh, have learned in high school biology about genetics, and most of that information is that the genes are the genes, they don't change, that's it. You get what you get, and too bad if you have a problem. What has happened since, I'll give you a little history. Since the Human Genome Project, which is a massive government project that was done in 2003, took, took uh, uh, many millions of dollars to complete, uh, many years to complete, but basically mapped out the entire human genome. Now what that means is they were able to map out all the genes that contribute to each part of our biochemistry. In other words, we could map out the genes that help us create hormones. We could map out the genes that help us detoxify the body. They could uh, create and understand the genes that affect inflammation, for example. So from that project, 2003, it was complete. It took a number of years, but now you're seeing it integrated into uh, the use by doctors. Uh, and that's what we've been studying and using now here at Root Cause Medical Clinic for a while. So here's how it works. Basically, uh, you two people could have the same exposures in life, meaning eat the same diet, have the same environmental exposures. One person gets migraine headaches, the other person is fine. What's the difference? The difference is not just being exposed to the stressors or demands on the body, but it's how the body interacts with it. That's what the genetics tell us. It tells us, are you capable of properly responding to stressors in your environment? So one of the really amazing things that I think has transformed uh, my practice through the years has, is learning uh, what the genetics of each individual uh, patient is so that I can essentially understand how come their biochemistry went down the path that it did. So from that, you can actually do things. In other words, there's actions that can be taken once you learn, for example, your body doesn't detoxify well or your body doesn't handle inflammation well. And those actions are almost always natural uh, supplements or natural changes in your diet because our biochemistry operates off of uh, the things we take in, off of vitamins and minerals and amino acids and, and proteins and that's what our biochemistry operates with. So you can take actions by assisting these genetic weaknesses through the use of sometimes specialized nutritional supplements that basically fill the gap where the genetic weaknesses exist. So it's absolutely transformed our practice because you can understand why a person's body is reacting the way that it's reacting by getting into the precise aspects of their genetics. I hope that helps you understand genetics a little bit more. I'm gonna be talking about this subject a lot in coming videos and in the coming years with my patients. Uh, it's a very exciting area of study 
and I look forward to teaching you more. Have a great day.